Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong, and uh, welcome to the a, a shortened version of Tech for the Rest of Us. Today, we're going to take a look at the HP Stream 13. Now, the last couple years have seen a revolution in ultra-portable budget laptops with the introduction of Google's Chromebook. Initially, people didn't really know what to make of it, and by the reviews on Amazon, you could see that they were purchasing without really understanding what exactly it was that they were getting. That problem's kind of been solved with the advancement of time and people figuring out what exactly the Chromebook was, but better still, HP has brought to market the Stream 13, which is a full Windows 8, 8.1 in this case, laptop. So what you get is, is the full desktop operating system with the familiar uh, Metro user interface that looks familiar or looks similar to your Windows phone or Windows tablet. This laptop, the, the HP Stream 13, has all the ports you're going to need for your daily computing. Uh, you have a USB 3.0 port. You have two USB 2.0 ports on this side of the laptop right here. You also have a, a headphone jack, an HDMI port, and a micro SD slot so that if you want to expand memory, uh, you have that option, which you may want to do because the Stream 13 comes with uh, only 32 gigabytes worth of hard drive, or in this case, solid state drive storage. And of, of that 32 gigabytes, only 17 gigabytes are available to the user because, of course, the operating system has to have some space to reside on that hard drive. This laptop also features two gigabytes worth of RAM. It comes with one year's worth of one terabyte of Microsoft OneDrive storage, as well as one year worth of Office 365 personal uh, uh, suite. So for one year, you'll get the uh, suite of Office 365 personal products. And after that year is up, you're going to have to pay for that. In addition, if you want to connect to anything via Ethernet, you'll have to use an Ethernet adapter as the laptop does not include uh, an Ethernet port, but this Ethernet adapter plugs in via USB, and then you can utilize the Ethernet connection. The laptop also features 802.11 B, G, and N. <laughs> I was trying to remember all the letters there. Uh, not AC, but that's okay, because many AC routers can fall back to the B, G, or N standards. Uh, in my testing, this laptop actually has been pretty fast uh, for what it is. You have to fully understand what this is. This is a ultra portable budget laptop. This is not a workstation. This is not your beast of a machine that you're going to go out and create the next Star Wars fan film with probably. But if you're looking for a laptop that's going to allow you to uh, take care of daily computing tasks, email, uh, 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 calendaring, uh, even things, it'll handle some basic Photoshop tasks. But anything that is kind of your basic day-to-day -day use, if you need a laptop for the home, for the children, you need an extra laptop, these are priced just right. And again, you're going to get a full desktop operating system along with Windows Marketplace so that you can actually use any of the Windows Market apps. Some things you're going to need to be aware of when purchasing the HP Stream 13. Number one, out of the box, I was not impressed that much with the screen until I went in and calibrated it myself and changed the contrast. I'll leave instructions for you on how to do that in my full write-up that this video will be attached to on myfoxla.com. The other thing you're going to want to be aware of and you might want to change are some of the settings on the trackpad. This trackpad is very sensitive. I was moving the cursor all over the place while I was typing with this thing. So you're definitely going to want to go in and just adjust those settings out of the box uh, with the, the trackpad. A couple other things you're going to want to be aware of if you've purchased this laptop for your children and let's say they're sitting around with friends watching content on the laptop. It does have some narrow-ish viewing angle, so you're not going to be able to be sitting right to the side of this and, and see the screen very clearly. But again, this laptop is sub $300. I've seen them going for anywhere between 220, 280, uh, or, sorry, 220, 260. It comes in a couple different configurations. Uh, so definitely a great price. I'd have to say that this is one of the best performing low-budget ultra portables on the market. 
having used the Google Chromebook, and I love my Chromebook, purchased one for the children, having used that and having used this, I think I would rather use this in the house because, again, you do get a full uh, desktop operating system, so you'll have the full suite of Word and all those products directly on the laptop. Of course, you can access those on a Chromebook uh, through the browser, but it is really nice to have the full desktop operating system because some of your children in some of the schools, they're going to use some Microsoft or Microsoft compatible products that you won't be able to put on a, a Chromebook or some of those other devices. Now, just keep in mind that although this, like I said, is capable of running Photoshop, if you're buying this for children, this is not a gaming laptop. They will be able to play some basic games, like those you'll be able to play in a browser when you visit websites like Nickelodeon or Disney's uh, Children's Portal. They'll be able to play some of those Flash-based games, as well as they're going to get great battery life out of this. You're going to get between seven and eight hours worth of battery life on a charge with this laptop. As long as you go into this laptop purchase knowing exactly what you're going to get, and that's why I'm stressing these points, I really want you to know what the strengths and the limitations of the laptop are because it is a strong performer, it is a strong product in this market segment, and if you go into it with your eyes wide open about what exactly it is, I think you'll actually be quite happy with the use of this laptop. As I said, I actually have a full review on all the different uh, parts, all the different features and functionality of this laptop that this video is attached to on myfoxlay.com. I just wanted to give you a brief look at the product so you can really kind of see the size, see what you're working with, see what you might be purchasing right here. As always, thank you for joining us for Tech for the Rest of Us. I'm Tashaka Armstrong. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Or if you're reading this article on myfoxla.com, you can leave them in the comments section there. I answer them. Like, share, subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you next one.